Uh, welcome to, I guess, like, Supa version 3? I don't know what I'd... I don't know, I think like version 1, pre-beard, version 2, beard, version 3, shaved head. So, this is, uh, I think what I'm gonna stick with from now on. It looks, I mean, like, you can tell. Like, you can see very clearly where my hair, like, on the sides here, I had all this hair. And on the top, it, like, had thinned out considerably. And I... I'm still gonna use the shaving. I've only shaved it once, and it's been about 20 hours, 16 hours since I've shaved it. Um, I use an electric razor. I may eventually go to a wet, like a like a double blade razor, but I'm kind of it's kind of uh, something I'm gonna have to get used to. It's the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, so I figure what better time than now to uh, practice uh, a new look, kind of get used to it. But yeah, it's just like honestly, it's taken some getting used to. Um, it's gonna take a little more time. I still like woke up this morning. Um, I did this like yesterday afternoon with my wife. My wife actually did all the shaving for fun, when I, just like styling my hair and cutting it down. But then I finally did the last close shave. Um, we had a lot of fun. It's like two hours on it. She was like practicing, giving like a fade. She did a good job actually, like a legitimately, like solid haircut. She gave me because I needed a haircut anyway. So she gave me in like a haircut, and then shaved me down with like a one and then I went on with like a without a guard at all and uh shaved down the rest of the way um real quick I want to talk about that some more I want to show you something so we're gonna work on the blood cell buccaneers keep an eye out and up to snuff to start and then we're gonna do maybe mist veil giblets after that um this quest is all down here especially the pirates that the, the uh, blood cell buccaneers is right down here on this peninsula if you run out of booty bay run around and run down I think it's kind of a slow route to take. Also, before we go any further, I need to check my mail. I haven't checked in a while. Oh, yeah, I sold some grenades a few days ago. I forgot to check the last episodes or two. Some of those grenades sold pretty well, which is nice. Okay. I'll need to clean this all up soon. My deadly scope schematic I sent over from my... Um, at one of my banks, let's learn that. I guess we've got enough skill now we can finally learn Deadly Scope. I've been carrying that recipe around forever. And I sent some more mana potions over my main picked up. Um, I got another Stranglethorn page. I'll nab that. I forget where I got that from, but maybe I, th I think I sent it to a bank character and uh, from this guy. And this is a bunch of those reagents we've had for a while. I'll have to... We're not really using a lot of these anymore. I'll probably just send them back to my bank and have them take care of it. Was there not just a quest giver here? Did he move over here? I don't know if it's the same guy or not. What's he got? Bring 10 bundles of a curious read. Okay, so we can grab this quest. It's a pretty high level quest, actually, I think. Curious by the bundle. Yeah, so it's yellow too, so it isn't bad. It's just relatively high since we're 41, it's still yellow. Okay, so what I was gonna say is what's faster, honestly, is just for especially a shaman who can water walk or a judo as aquatic form, I think it's faster. Let's do. I just drowned Panda Cup. <laughs> I think it's faster to run around the west side of Booty Bay than it is to go north, east, south, and then west. Like you just go west and south, and you're basically there. Um, I think it's faster this way. So I tend to go this route a lot when I'm doing this quest. Um, Kind of depends. You also got to see the cool turrets, the bunkers and everything in Booty Bay. Booty Bay would have been a really cool city to, like, do some sort of raid on, where you, like, assault Booty Bay if it's been, like, taken over by pirates. Um, man. It's, it's so, yeah, it's going to take some good news to my head. <laughs> but I'm kind of fortunate. Like, I feel like if I look at myself... Sorry, I'm looking at myself and not the camera while I talk. I feel like I have a pretty, like decently shaped head like it's not weird lumpy some people have like just like kind of lumpier heads and mine's pretty good even in the back there's like a little bit um like a, like, like two bones kind of back here or one bone i guess it is it's kind of like split i think that's common for everyone but it doesn't really stick out like it's it's pretty reasonable and the back of my head doesn't like bow out really far as far as i'm concerned like it looks i like it i like the, my, my skull shape <laughs> i guess what i'm saying like learning new things that i like about myself Mithril deposit up there. I wouldn't mind getting that. Now, the thing we need is on this table over here, I think. Somewhere. Let's 
It's usually around there somewhere. Let's just whack this guy. Oh, resist my earth shock. What a jerk. It's okay, we just... Wow. We just crushed that thing with pure stabs. <laughs> she got destroyed. That was interesting. Hey, some snuff. Swashbuckler. We need these. I'm going to drop a few totems. Um, so... So we need to kill 10 of these, we need to get the charts, the orders, Dizzy's Eye, and Snuff. Um, we're not really trying for the Snuff or Dizzy's Eye, we're just going to work on this Blood Summer Community's quest, and then we'll get whatever drops when it drops. Oh, we got Disarmed. Interesting. My unarm skill's up to 72 already. That's good. I didn't realize it was that high. It's still low, I mean, but like I didn't realize we'd even skill it up to that level. Alright. Volatile Realm, I think this actually sells for a decent amount. There's actually, um, it's using, um... Goblin Sapper Charges, I think? So I think the map we need, or the charts are in here. Yeah, there's the order, or the orders. Okay, there's the orders. Let's grab these. And then the charts, I think, are usually resting on something over here, but I don't see them. But I'm sure they're there. Blood Cell Orders. Um, I'm looking for them. Huh. Maybe they're not here, but I swear they're usually there. I may still clear this camp anyway. Frosh like this guy so doesn't flee as fast. 550 experience. Whoa, that was a lot of stuff. Rum, snuff, boots. Those are 8 agility, 8 stamina. They're actually better boots than ours. 8 agility, 8 stamina. These are 8 agility, 6 stamina. We have, what, 60, 70, 80, 91 armor, 79. I'd still take 20 health over, like, 20 armor. I think that's... Pretty reasonable. Um, okay, where are those stupid things? I swear they should be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Aggro the baddies, that's okay. I'm gonna flee. I'm gonna check over... Let's do... What are these things? Slow them down. Good job, Totem. Maybe they can be elsewhere, but I'm pretty sure they can only be there. I'm gonna check this camp. It's possible they can be in more than one location, but I could have sworn they were only in that camp. Over there. Wait, okay. Sweet nectar. The charts. Okay, I didn't know that. I really thought they could only be in that big camp. Well, that's good to know. Um, no, stop it. Thank you. Leave my totem alone. <laughs> Leave totem alone. Physical damage done reduced by 15. That's really annoying. I don't... It can't cure curse, right? Only diseases and poisons. Yeah. Well. I guess... This is going to be a little bit of a tough quest, honestly. Like, we're not struggling against these mobs, but they're not pushovers either. I'm a little concerned about pulling this next mob after this one. Since we're going to be fighting like, two of them possibly at once. A Warlock and a Warlock and an Imp and a Succubus. I may have to drop my Taunt Totem. Kind of pull some threat off of myself. And then um, go from there. I, oh boy. That's bad news. Okay, what potions we got? Big heal potion. Probably use that. Being unarmed is really annoying for this, of all things. I need to kill that mob before he... Um, decided to... Come back and punch me. 
How much mana do I need to heal? I need a lot of mana to heal for the big heal. The little heal I'll be able to cast in a moment. Kind of wait until the next time he disarms me to heal. I'm gonna heal now, I need to. And I think we can drop a totem. It's a good thing we have the Anixia buff. Honestly, this would be awful if we didn't. Like, we're having some trouble here. They're parrying a lot of my attacks. Pop another heal. Totem's helping a bit here. I also got some new glasses, as you probably could tell. Um, I always thought my last pair of glasses felt a little bit smaller than I wanted, and they, they actually weren't long enough quite. Um, so they just kind of felt a little like I was like had to cram them into my face to get them sort of, um, I guess, what you'd say is like back far enough, like so they didn't like like stick, like they kind of looked like they were like sitting like this, where like the piece didn't quite go over my ear well, so it just looked a bit short, so I'd like have to push them way into my face to get, avoid that from looking that way. Um, let's bandage, we never bandage. We're going to have to pull these mobs back so we don't risk them pulling into things over here. And I'm just going to use my Call of the Raptor at this point. I think we're going to do that. Oh, and an Iron Grenade. I should use that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Let's do this. Let's give off our weapon. And let's let's turn him up back here. Ooh, maybe grounding to would be nice. And then let's pull the succubus to start. Good job, that totem. Drop one of those. Okay. Oh boy, I want to die, aren't I? Yeah, I'm dead. That shovel's gonna kill me. Um, I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, it's just a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> I I just thought I had more time to reset. Okay, I really butchered that badly. How do I do that? Um, this run around is gonna be annoying. Uh, okay, I really messed that up. I lost my Anixia buff too, which is sad. It's gonna make it even tougher now. How do I kill them both? Maybe I need to focus them down. Maybe the succubus was a mistake. Okay, let me think about this. If I, I engage, throw an iron grenade immediately, that'll give me three seconds of no DPS from three of the four, if they're bunched up. I also think the succubus might respawn now that we killed that, which is annoying. If I'm fortunate, maybe it doesn't, but I think they just automatically respawn. Um, that was such a wasted reincarnate. That was bad. Um, I didn't use my raptor buff at least, so that's nice. I forgot to use it, but that's okay. Um, okay, so I will res, heal up, buff up, all that good stuff, right? Succubus respawned. Dang it. That was a mistake. I should have burned down one of the warlocks. To be honest, that would have been the way to go. Okay. Um, let's rebuff. Oh, shoot. I have to kill that guy again. So, I think what I'll need to do is kill this guy in the front for sure. And then I think I just need to burn down a warlock. Even if I die, at least then it's just a one on one after that. I think I should start with. The taunt totem, or grenade, taunt totem, grounding totem, and in the meantime just burn everything I've got on the, um, the warlock. That'll buy me enough time that I think I can do that. Let's kill this guy. I'm gonna save my cooldowns, um, berserking, for example. Um... Yeah. 
Oh man, that's scary. It, that was a tough fight. It's I mean like it. They're not that much higher level than me, but they just hit really hard. Um. Okay. Okay. My unarmed skill is getting so good against these guys. All right, let's finish this guy off. Okay, dead. Let's rebuff lightning shield, heal. I want to drink again. I'm using up a lot of drinks and consumables right now, but that's okay. So I don't think I'm going to drop any totems until I get into the fight. I th think there's no point. And I'm going to start with, like I said, stone claw, grounding, grenade. Stone Claw. My only goal is to burn down this one. Okay, got it. Flee. This is like perfect. I think it's exactly what I wanted to do. Are they gonna keep chasing me? Okay, reset. Now I'm just hoping that the succubus doesn't resummon that warlock. I don't think it works that way. I think the succubus might even despawn when it gets back there. Perfect. Now we've got a one-on-one -on -one fight. Although I still need to hurry because it's possible that um, other like I don't think there's any other mobs here, but that was really close. That swashbuckler, if that had ran over to us, would have been toast. Um, so we got a little lucky. It didn't quite pull up on us like that. Now I'm going to get over here. I'm going to pull this closer. Do one of these. Let's interrupt that spell cast with a grenade. Let's finish this off. Now what's interesting is you stay in combat with this. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Okay, I think we can do this. I think we're okay. Um, let's take it nice and slow. Let's use one of these mana potions. I've got a bunch of them. Use one of the small ones. Let's give myself a heal. Um, oh, I thought I was unarmed. It's a good time to heal when you're unarmed because it's like, I'm not going to be in a lot of DPS anyway, necessarily. Okay, I just need to kill. This guy's really not taking much damage. Wow. Like, seriously. <laughs> we're struggling against them. We're not really getting any wind for your procs, which is kind of unfortunate. It's another flame shock. Keep that train rolling. Seriously, this guy's a beast. Okay, if he had resisted that frost shock, that'd have been really bad. I was like, okay, I've got to get this to land, or I've got to heal one of the two. Because uh, he was not going down very quickly by getting punched. Alright. Okay. That's much better. Uh, let's back up. Since now at this point we've got everything we need of the hard to get stuff. Now we can just pick off these guys, right? Like we don't have to um, do any of the tricky stuff anymore. Let's just drink and then kill like four of these. Now, if we don't get all the snuff in the Dizzy's eye, I'm not going to keep okay, working around for it, because there's another there's a follow-up to this in Blood Cell Buccaneers, and the follow-up um, will likely get more snuff and hopefully the eye, so it's not really worth going out of our way for. Yeah, so can you use the beard thing? It's it's going to take... Not the beard thing, the, the head shape thing. I'm also trying to get better at fading my beard in a little bit. Like, I did. you can kind of see where it's like a little bit more hair here and gets like less as it goes down so i'm practicing that i need to fade it in um not super tricky to do but something i've never really done before because i always had hair there so like fading it didn't necessarily make the most sense um so yeah i'm kind of getting used to that um also i like how my grounding totem it took a blast from the stupid imp's fireball to start, which was so negligible compared to the shadow bolt damage. It made me really sad against those two warlocks, but 
it worked out. It was just like not the most incredibly uh, overwhelming use or most effective use of the grounding totem. There we go, more snuff and another strangle thorn page. Let's do this. I like to keep them in whatever order I have them in. It just seems so much more simple to keep track of. All right, so we need uh, three more swashbucklers. And that's all we're gonna do for this. And then we'll go and do some Mist Veil giblets, I think. Um, I guess I could use Panda Cub back out. I Oh, by the way, uh, so today is March 24th. And I did, um, I did donate blood last week. It must have been, what day was it? Thursday. So today's Tuesday. It was last week, Thursday. I've donated blood. I think I've talked about that. I don't think I talked about the story last week. If I did already, I apologize for repeating it. Oh yeah. There's a mineral vein up here. A mineral node. Um, I forgot that this was up here. Let's snag that and get a skill up. Hopefully. Yes. 211. So, if I told this story already, I apologize, but I donated blood last week, and um, I've donated blood a lot. Like, I've donated blood, I, th I honestly don't know, because I've donated at probably 10 different locations over my life, so I don't have, like, a track of it, because none of those places have all my history of blood donations. Let's go get that swashbuckler over there. I think I can sneak by over here. Without aggroing. As you can tell, I don't like killing the warlocks. <laughs> they uh, they hit hard. They're not my favorite uh, to fight. If I can help it. So let's just pull this one solo. Boom. Alright. So then... Um, uh, so I went to donate blood, and I donated a lot, and it, it, you know, like, when you get stuck with a needle, it hurts a little bit, right? You feel it. It's not like it's nothing, but it's negligible to me. Like, it doesn't really hurt that much. They go in maybe a centimeter into your arm, um, if that. Not super far, but, you know, they go in a little bit, and it, it stings a little bit when they break skin. That's really all that hurts from it, in my opinion. Once they break skin, it shouldn't really hurt, and it really doesn't hurt much at that point. Uh, so this time I donated blood. And they have veins in both my arms that work well, so I let them look at my arms and decide what they prefer. Um, I feel like it probably makes it easier for them if they, you know, they get a choice. It's like, why not let them choose? Um, I'm blue and the bunk is so much mana, storm striking and earth shocking these things. So they pick my right arm and I'm right-handed, which is fine. I've donated there a ton, never had a problem. Well, so this was interesting. They stuck the needle in really deep. Like I was watching her do it and I was like, I was like, oh, it's like it kind of hurt, but I was like not moving my arm. I was just like, what are you doing? It's like, that hurts. Like, it did not feel right. Um, I've done it so many times, you can tell something's not right. I was like, that hurts. I was like, I was telling her, like, after she stuck, I was like, it still hurts. I was like, it's fine if it's working, but like, if it's good, it's good. I can like wait, you know, the 15 minutes it takes to donate. Uh, the pain's not unbearable, but I was like, it does not feel right. And she's like, huh, okay. And you know, she stuck me with the needle. And a little bit of blood like squirted basically into the line and then like nothing else that was it that was completely it and normally it like comes out just like there's like little bags they fill up small ones they use for like testing um just like to sample the blood for various purposes and then there is a uh you know then they clamp that off and transfer and kind of and the line shifts over and it goes into um the main bag they fill up and they fill up about half a liter of blood. I think it's like 500 mils exactly. Maybe a little bit less. I've heard that they can do up to 400, they can do down as low as 465 mill milliliters. If you're like someone's a lower weight or if you're having, if like there's low pressure on the donation, otherwise I'll do like 500 milliliters. Um, so, okay. So she stuck it and it was like, she, I saw, I was, I would watch them because I like to watch it. I find it interesting. Some people don't like looking, but I watched and the needle went in like way too deep. I was like, that, it really hurt compared to what it should hurt. Like it wasn't like excruciating or unbearable, but like I'd normally say a needle stick is like a one. That was like a five where it was just like, it didn't feel right. I was like, this is not correct. Something's wrong. And the blood didn't come out more than like a little squirt. And she's, it was like kind of newer apparently. 
and she's not allowed to do adjustments. Like, if the first stick doesn't work, apparently people that are newer to this blood bank aren't allowed to do anything about it. Like, they have to get someone some more experienced. We're looking for two more, or one more swashbuckler, by the way. There should be one, like, on the way back if I go the long way. So I'm going to go the long way and find one. Panic up, fell asleep. There he is. I was like, where'd he go? So, um, this might be a nice screenshot. Let's do this. All right. There's a swashbuckler. So, okay. The guy comes over and he looks at it and he's like looking at where the needle is and he just doesn't even touch it. He's like, yeah, you went in too far. I think you went through the vein. And she's like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, you went through the vein. And, uh, He's like, you can tell because it's swelling up. And it was true. It was like, you could see like a little bubble kind of under my arm um, or under my skin. All right, we're done with that quest. We did not get Dizzy's eye and we only got about not even half of the snuff. So we're just going to call it a day. I will run the long way around, show you the difference between the water walk west versus the land walk east. Admittedly, you can mount if you're going east, if you have a mount at this level. So that's pretty nice uh, for, for sure. So, yeah. Okay, so, all right, so then um, he pulls the needle out and he's like, yeah, you went way too far. So he's like, I'm going to get an ice pack for that and we're going to tie it kind of tight on there so he doesn't like bleed out, like not bleed out, but like, you know, keep bleeding into your arm and it'll kind of reduce the bruising that way. I was like, yeah, that sounds good. So they put an ice pack in everything and, um, and they're like, are you okay if we like try your other arm? I'm like, yeah, go for it. Like as long as you think you can do it, go for it. Um, so then they ended up getting my other arm, he did it, it was like perfect, it was like exactly like normal, donation went fine, I donated, um, all was good, and then I left the bandage on my right arm like for the rest of the evening, so probably about like 8 hours, normally I take it off after a couple hours, or even like an hour, it doesn't really matter, but I left it on for like a good 8 hours, and I don't know if I might put a photo up here, so if you don't want to see it, you don't have to, um, yeah, I want to make a note to like add a photo at this part of the video. But I'll take a, I'll show you a photo of my arm after the donation. Um, there's like two horizontal, like perpendicular to my arm lines that are, let's go turn this quest, are, um, hold on, what? Is someone conspiracy theory in coronavirus again? Why does this always happen? I am not worried. I think it was engineers of population control agent by China. Why tech to elderly immune compromised? China doesn't have the good scientists. All the good schools are in the West. It was us. We did it. What? This is... I hope they're joking. I can never tell. It's like impossible to tell. What's that rule that like on the internet you can never tell if someone's being sarcastic? The breakout was literally miles from a virus research lab of Wuhan. 12 monkeys there. Um... Um, this is weird. Well, anyway, that was a waste of my time reading that general chat. Jeez, it's awful. Um, I just waved to that person and I'm moving along because I got things to do. So, let's see where we at. All right, here we go. Booty Bank. Pledge sale charts and orders. Perfect super. Now that we know their plan, it was just a matter of time. And to think the fools have dropped anchor just off the cape. So now... We have to kill three captains. This is a quest where we need help. We can't solo. This is a tough one. Um, blast the nerve of Furlon. Uh, he couldn't sail a skiff through a crystal lake, let alone lead an entire fleet against us. The Bloodsail Buccaneers will pay for their carelessness. Now that we know their plan of attack, we can counter before they know what hit them. But why send the entire fleet to do the work of one brave adventuring party? Take some of your most skilled comrades out to Furlon's landing spot and assassinate the Bloodsail leadership. The fleet will sink soon after. Yeah, this is a... Um, it's not an elite quest, but it's a really tough quest to solo because they're grouped together tightly, the mobs, and they will aggro people. Like, you're not going to kill them fast enough to not aggro other people. So it's a little bit tough. Um, yeah, I'm uh, not super looking forward to doing that quest. We'll get some friends to help. We'll find some people to help us with it. Uh, not today, but another day we'll find some help. 
I don't think there's any other way to do that quest. So, um, I want to like leave general chat. It's so annoying right now. It's like actually just, just really just uninformed conversation. I'll say. All right, let's move back. Uh, so the donation was fine, but then at the end, like the final, like the other arm worked fine. But then my right arm, what ended up happening is the, uh, when I take the bandage off, there were two like very broad, distinct, like large lines of where blood had kind of pooled, where the bandage wasn't as tight. And now it's been like five days and you can start to see like a pretty decent sized, like yellowy bruise formed up. Um, it's the worst bruising I've ever had from blood donation by far. And to be honest, it almost feels like my arm scarred a little bit or something because I felt like the first few days I couldn't like stretch my arm out without feeling like kind of a sharp pain. So I sort of was just, and I think it's better to not push that. So I kind of just left my arm, like literally like held my arm like this for two days straight. Um, not, not like this deep, but you know, fairly crooked up. And I will, uh, now I'm kind of at the point where I'm restoring my arm to its normal glory and use. Uh, so we're going to kill a bunch of these Elder Mistvale Gorillas, which sounds horrific when I say that out loud. The goal here is to get these Giblets, which are pretty... I thought pretty low drop rate, but I was like, oh, I don't know, one for one. So we're going to start here at least. Um, I don't know what else we're going to do today. Oh boy, that's not... Uh, that Stone Cloud Totem going. How much? Yeah, it's taking like four or five hits. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna burn this one down. That's better. I didn't want to have two of them punch me in the face at the same time if possible, so I figured it's like spend all of our mana, burn down one, and then we'll go back to the second one. Um. Yeah. I'm just thinking about, <laughs> I'm thinking about so many things right now, like I've got my, my head shaved thing going on, I've got the blood donation thing, I will say it feels nice doing this though, just like running my hand over my head feels good, I don't know man, it's got like a nice, nice feeling to it, alright, gorilla did not drop anything, did not drop anything, okay, keep moving, maybe some mineral nodes out here, sometimes I think it was iron or mithril uh, in this area. I'm trying to pull just one at a time though, so I'm trying to get in a good spot for this. Yeah, sounds good. This is a good spot. Yeah, so we're you know, we really have hit the part of leveling where it slows down a lot. We're not even halfway to 60, even halfway is like 45. So let's look at our slash played. And we're probably gonna be seven days played to hit 60 is my guess. Probably about seven days. That seems pretty close to correct. Um, the game launched in what, September, is that right, or August? And it's now, you know, end of March, so if I hit 60 at the end of this year, I'd be really happy with that. Um, I'd feel pretty, pretty satisfied with that, um, speed, I guess I would say, speed. <laughs> I, I think I can probably do it faster than that if I spend a little more time on this character. I mean, obviously that's exactly what it takes, is more time. But I think it's possible to make it move a little bit quicker than that. Um, like, really, like I mean, realistically possible for me. I think I could do it. But we'll see about that. I'm not going to drop any more totems here. I think I'll have to move up for the next few mobs. Did I? I was like, I always... Half my fun of playing this game is figuring out where Panda Cub is at. I think it's like, where'd Panda Cub go? Oh, there he is. I should just put a mark on him, like a raid target marker, but... Alright, how's our bag space? Not bad. I really thought we'd be in worse, worse shape for bag space, but we're doing okay. Um, organizing in the last episode, I think I did it off camera, was key. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna set up a camp in the middle of this mess. Let's do lightning bolt, light, lightning bolt, shock, and berserking. What is our DPS with Berserking? 65. And then if we get Flurry up to 82, 72 with just Flurry. 
91 with it probably Wind Fury active, I guess is what that is. I think Wind Fury. Another Giblet, good. Is there a skill, a talent, that gives us increased range on our skills? I think there is. What did you just resist? I felt bad. Um, Earth's Grass, Warding, Damage, Damage, Cooldowns, Spell Crit. Oh boy. Um, I just burn this one down quickly. Okay. Increase the Ranger Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning Spells by three yards. So I could probably get five yards total if you put two talents in it, is my guess. Um, this guy's kind of just getting shot down pretty fast. Nice. Uh, yeah, so we're two of five. We might get three or four here. Let's see. Three. Four. Pretty good drop rate, honestly. That's um a better drop rate than I might have expected from these. So that's not too bad. Did we get some Mage Weave there? We did. Let's make some bandages. I don't want to go up above 225. I want to like stop at 225. Um, we need to go to Hammerfall soon. I might do that if we hit 225 on this. Because I think Hammerfall is where we learn the skill up to 300. I think there's a trainer there. We're not probably going to get it though on this, which is fine. Maybe I'll make heavy silk bandages just for the skill up chance here. See if we get the 225. It's pretty low chance usually for greens, but it does happen. Um, and I'll just vendor off the heavy silk bandages. I guess I could use them maybe now to save my relatively limited mage weave bandages. All right. Oh, uh, there we go. Sweet. Okay. Okay. We're all done. That's nice. So 225 is really cool. Uh, let's how we have this episode. I might make the trek up to a Rothy. I'll probably hearth back to Orgrimmar. Um, but I'm, I think it's worth it. I think getting that would be a good idea. Uh, let's do this, this. So uh, let's thank the Patreon support for the channel. Uh, Timothy B, Luke D, and Chris S, especially, are my top tier supporters. So as always, thank you guys for uh, your continued support of me and my channel. I hope I don't lose any subscribers due to shave my head, but maybe I'll gain subscribers. I don't know. I um, I will say, I kind of like the way I look. Oh, good. We're all done with the Mist Veil, Mist Veil Giblets. Um, iron, I don't really feel like going to get that iron vein. I'm feeling lazy. Am I feeling lazy? Let's go get it. It's clear. I thought there was a gorilla nearby, but it's actually wide open, so let's just go nab it. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to do any... Oh, of course. It was clear, and then... Alright, we're just going to fight this guy. Oh, a rare spawn. What? That's cool. I was like, that's a different looking gorilla. That's a cool one to tame for hunters, I bet. But we're just gonna kill him. As soon as we kill this guy. Come on. I don't know how where his pathing is, but he might path really far away, so I'm trying to kill him fast so I can drink. Loot. Drink. Alright, if he goes far enough over there, that's actually a really good spot, because that's where we were just killing mobs. Um so it's pretty clear. All right, let's drink a couple more seconds. And let's... Let's chase him down. Kermok, the rare spawn. Cool. I'm excited for this. I love killing rare spawns. You've noticed that, I think. I've probably figured that out in this game that I, I don't hunt for them. But if I see them, I will absolutely make an effort to take them down. He doesn't even know what's happening. He has no idea. Alright, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, go, 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 pull him, pull him, pull him. I didn't want that other guy to get him. I was like, oh no, here we go. Alright. We just burned like all of our mana. <laughs> just literally lightning bolt, lightning bolt, storm strike. No, that was easy. Alright. Ooh, embossed plate girdle of the bear. Should have been something of the monkey, right? I don't know, they're not monkeys, but more closely related than a bear, I would guess. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, did I get some of that iron? I think I just like forgot the iron deposit. That's okay. Um, maybe while we're here, we'll go do a curious read by the bundle. 
we're kind of near that spot. It's, uh, well, sort of, I guess the way to get up there is really just over here, but I might be able to sneak up this side. I think there is a way to get up. Yeah, there we go. You can kind of cut around here a little bit, I think. Can't see anything, but... Now, I don't remember if you can get all the way up there from here. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. So all we're doing is taking the, the path from this side where, like, Pretty Boy Duncan's over there. You know, we did that quest the other day. Uh, last episode, I guess it was. This is a little annoying. There we go. Okay. So these are the raiders, yeah. So we're just going to kill, basically, Naga. Like, the little Naga dudes. Um... And not to aggro all these mobs, but I don't really mind aggroing the casters. They don't they don't daze you. It's not really big of a deal. Wait, are these really level 44, 43? I knew they were a little high level, but this is actually pretty beefy high. Um, I might not do this now. I knew it was kind of high. Let's just try and kill one of them. See what happens. I'm not sure how tough they are, but I think they hit pretty hard. Um, I burned through a decent amount of mana finding this one. And this is a 43, so this is like the easier of the two, right? It's 43 and 44, so I don't know if I'm going to do this quest now. I thought they were, I knew it was a kind of a high level quest, I didn't realize it was this high level. How is it only yellow to us? That wasn't terrible, but since we need 10 of these, I think I'm going to skip, because it's going to, like, skip it for now. I think it will take a little while to do it. I'm almost tempted to say that we're... We're close to getting ready to head to Grom Goal, Grom Goal, to do quests. Let's go turn in Mistvale Giblets, and fly to Grom Goal, and get started up there. I think that is probably reasonable. We can also do the snap draw crocolis. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I'm gonna do one of these. Get him, stone claw totem. What? He netted me? What the heck? He literally got off that other totem and netted me instead. I'm gonna die, aren't I? By trying to flee here. 100 percent I can't aggro any more of these mobs on the left, on the right, or I'm super, super in trouble. That was really interesting. I am surprised that mechanic where it, it was targeting a totem, but it... Oh. Uh, slash you, Nominizer. He dead. Nominizer. He's AFK, so maybe he AFK there and someone killed him. Yeah, so anyway, I don't know if that quest, the Naga quest, is the best idea right now. I think it's smart to leave it alone. Um, Shaky Philippi. Philippe? Philippe. Philippe. Shaky Philippe. Hey, I don't look like the guy you're giving me. Okay, well, um, Ak, where you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Who's setting you? Seawolf? I only got 800 experience for that. Here, take this pouch and give it to Se give it to Seawolf. That's right, we get more experience from this half of it. And tell him I meant to pay him back, I swear. Okay. Let's go turn in Shaky's payment. Also, one thing I like with these glasses is they have um, they have an anti-reflection lens on them. So you can see a little bit from my light, which is a pretty bright reflection. But I think it's a lot better than my other glasses where there was like a big glare on them. Um, because I when I bought those glasses, I made the mistake of getting like a blue light filter on them, which I, th which they sort of help with glare also to some extent, but it really didn't. It didn't help really at all with the glare. So it ended up being good for maybe reading on a computer screen for my eye health maybe, but it did not help with the reflections at all, which I'm really disappointed in. Uh, return to McKinley. Uh, here, here, Supa, did you get Shaky's payment? Haha, ha, well done. And when you showed Shaky those giblets, how hard did he shake? Ah, he's so easy to read. When I play cards with him, I can't help but win. You're welcome. 
Oh, so this is a tougher one, the Voodoo Doos. It's a higher level quest. We'll do it along with Zanzel's Secret. Which we're not doing now. Um, let me check something. Anyone for... See if we can get a group together for the Captain's Chest. Otherwise, I think... I think about what I want to do. We have a lot of quests right now. I may... We have a lot of quests. Alright, let's go up to... I want to do a few things, actually. So, I'm starting... I made an Enchanter character. I, f I found out two things. So, let's do this. First of all, um, I want to send this to... Uh, so, Enchanter. Disenchant to that. And we're also going to sell off the Volatile Rum. And... I think that's it. So, what I learned... I made a new character, level 1 Orc. And I ran him from Duratar up to... Orgrimmar. I got up there, and I threw him a Hearthstone to make bag space, because he was going to be a bank character. And I went to the Enchanting Trainer, and I found out I couldn't learn Enchanting, so it had to be level 5. I didn't realize it would be level 5. I don't know if that's for all professions, or just um, Enchanting. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. And then I was like, well, maybe I should just make a new character, delete this character, make a new one. And I was like, oh, I'll just run this guy back down. I'll just hearth back to the Valley of Trials, I think is what it's called, the starting orc control area. But then I didn't have a hearthstone, so like, oh right, okay. Um, I will go to the innkeeper and get a new hearthstone. Apparently you can't do that without setting your hearthstone to that location. So I was like, okay. So I can't hearth back there, so I have to run back. So I was like, okay, I won't get the hearthstone. I'll just run back and get a hearthstone. Stupid. So I run all the way back to the starting area that orcs and trolls. I level up to level 5. And then it dawns on me. I was like, I should have gotten the Orgrimmar Hearthstone so I get a hearth back to Orgrimmar instead of running back. So then I have a level 5 character in the Valley of Trials and I run him all the way back up to Orgrimmar. Again, without hearth things in my Hearthstone. And then uh, I train Enchanting. Now I've got Enchanting Bank. Um, and I... Um, use that bank to disenchant stuff, and anything level 40 or above, I'm pretty much disenchanting with this guy now, uh, with that bank character. And there's some stuff like Eternal Essence out is, uh, lesser and greater Eternal Essence, it's worth way more than I realized. Um, like if I vendor a level 52 green, I might get maybe two gold for armor, probably less, probably like 75 silver to one gold 50 silver. But if I disenchant it and get even one lesser eternal essence, that's worth two gold on our server. Um, about two gold, I think. So, it's really nice, actually, how much you get from that. Uh, what quests have we skipped out on here? And honor. 15 Lashtail Raptors. Okay, so I think what I want to do, I think I'm going to abandon... I'm just like looking through my quest log. I think I'm gonna abandon abandon a curious read by the bundle for now. Let's go kill some raptors. It's an easy one. Actually, that one stacks with the other one, doesn't it? The defensive ground goal. Think about this. I'm just thinking this through real quick. Um, I don't want to do that just yet. I think. Because that one, I think, stacks with the raptor hunting quests. So I think I want to hunt for Yaniku. That's the scalps. We're going to want that. A grim message. Okay. These are all the ones that go well together. Um, Vile Reef. Alright, let's do the Vile Reef. I think that's a good one for now. We might be able to do that with Encrusted Tail Fins if we can kill the mobs. I don't know if we can. Um, but the nice thing is, the Vile Reef doesn't require you to actually, um, kill any mobs. Uh, so I think, if I remember it right, the Vile Reef is over here? It's been a little while since I've done this. Let's 
water walk. Perfect, the Vile Reef found it. Okay. And I think I know what I'm looking for here if I kind of wander through here. There is somewhere, this like dark strip I think is like a deep water, which is kind of funny. I'm gonna get underwater here and just take a quick peek around. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to scout out exactly what I'm looking for. I might not be remembering exactly where it's at. I think it's farther up this way, though. I feel like it's kind of near the edge of the water here. Look in, look in, look in. Let's get underwater again. I'm looking for murlocs, <laughs> first of all. So I'm really looking for is murlocs. There we go. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So this, there is, I think, 36 elites. I think I can actually kill these guys, but the tablet I need is probably just the water breathing. It's probably a good idea. I think this is the tablet I need. I'm not sure if I'm remembering it right, but I think so. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, and then what I think I want to do here is see if I can solo pull this mob. And then I want to see how much of a pain they are to kill. I might be able to do this quest. I think 36 elites aren't a huge problem for us. It's five levels below us. It's probably equivalent to like a 41 for us, roughly. The real problem is they flee, and they flee fast. Oh no. And they heal, apparently, the oracles. I can keep that in mind. Do they flee? Maybe they don't. They do. Well, you're annoying, aren't you? Alright, 600 experience. Not bad. Now, is the drop rate good? I don't know. A few things here I'm gonna have to figure out about these mobs. I don't know if I can take on these warriors either very well. Maybe uh, stone skin totem's good against them. These are melee mobs. I mean, I'm not doing badly against this. I'm, I'm considering I'm really not casting any spells against them at all. I'm just meleeing them. We're getting a lot of flurry procs, which is wonderful. Um, I'm going to toss a pretty big heal on myself, although I think we didn't have to do that for this. And a flame shock should be able to burn them down the rest. Maybe we can do this. Um, I just wish they didn't flee so fast. i got to be quick with the, the swim. Got him. Okay, well we're two for two on drop rates. If the drop rate's that good, it might be... Not unreasonable to do this. Salt scale tide lords. I don't know if I want to fight the 37 elites. I might just keep picking off the easier ones. Hunter, 35. Mm, yeah, what is the reward for this? Where do we even turn this in? I don't think we turn it in here. Shimmering flats. Okay. Of course. I forgot that we got that way over there. All right. I'm really kind of not used to these mobs. I don't know exactly what they... Let's go for the hunter. See what it does. Oh, there's one back here. Let's get that. I'm just gotta be care. I've just gotta be careful to pull more, more than one at a time. I think that's where things can get ugly for us real quick. I'm hoping these things don't net us, like ensnare us, and then swim away and shoot us, because that could be a problem for us. Um, Shingle kelp. That's some good stuff. But yeah, they're not doing a ton of damage, so we're good. I don't like using totems underwater a lot. Like I'm not a big fan of doing that for a few reasons, but... Wait, depending on which way that guy flees, f or fled, I would have, um... <sighs> He's, they're fast, though. Depending on which way it would have fled, I would have frost-shocked it. I'd rather save my mana. Alright, three for three on drops. Again, that helps a lot. If the drop rate's going to be good, then I'm, I feel pretty good about doing this. Let's heal up. Let's use one of our crappy bandages. Save our mana regen. Uh, so three for ten. 
We'll finish this quest, and I might just hearth back to Orgrimmar. And use this as an opportunity to um, hearth back to Org, log out there, and use it as an opportunity to go to Thousand Needles and turn in this quest when we're done. That seems kind of reasonable. Let's do two more attacks on him and then save our mana. Underwater breathing, so nice, oh my gosh. We're also getting, um, we got some shiny fish scales, which is great. I don't know if we get fish oil from them, but that'd be cool if we did. I do like getting my underwater and water breathing reagents. Let's stop them. All right, yeah, it's 100% drop rate so far, so that's great. Um, I'm just gonna soak up some mana for a second and re-bandage again. We got these bandages, might as well, might as well use them, right? I haven't bandaged a lot in this character. I tend to get bandages a lot on non-healing classes. Uh, like when I leveled a warrior or rogue, I would absolutely use a ton of bandages. But I'm less inclined to use them on class that can self-heal. It just seems like it's, I don't know, I'm less motivated to do it, I guess, for some reason. He parried my storm strike, which means I'm just going to flame shock instead of uh, earth shock. Alright, let's cast one more shock and then we'll let our mana regen oh man so my arm yeah it was like feeling messed up for a bit <clears throat> but yeah i i feel pretty pretty good with the head shave i don't know like i really i'm i'm kind of digging it i kind of so my hair i'll show some photos some of the day i'll probably put some photos on one of these videos or just make a separate video but i had some uh my hair is getting so thin, you can tell. Like now that I've shaved it, it's like more obvious to me. Like you can see how little hair I had on the top of my head compared to like the sides. Like I got away from me real fast, this this swimmer. We got a runner. Um got him. Oh panic of hey. A thick murloc scale. Extra thick. Um I mean, like you can really tell that it's like a lot less hair up here than on the sides. That means like a very distinct that's like you know standard male pattern baldness. Um, and, uh, all right, let's tote him up. Do this, this, this. Oh, the hunters attack from a distance. What scumbags? I didn't know that. I haven't actually pulled one from any sort of a distance yet. It's going to be in range of my totems. Okay. So, um, but because I've gotten so thin, I could take my hair and kind of like pull it up. And if I held like a light behind it, so like what I would do is I'd stand in like a mirror in my bathroom. I did this like a year ago and I realized this is like when I realized my hair was like really starting to thin. I um looked in a mirror and I was facing so I was facing the mirror, and then I had my camera light behind my hair, like right up like facing like forward towards the mirror from behind my head, kind of like illuminating through my hair. And it made it really obvious you could like see, like I was like, oh yeah, I definitely have like a lot of thinning hair. Um you could just like see, you could see like the shape of my skull is what it was kind of, it was like interesting. And so I was able to do that and I was like looking at my head and I was like, my head looks pretty good. Like it's a pretty reasonably shaped skull, I think. Um, and that was like one of my biggest concerns with shaving my head. I was like, what if I have like a really strange lump? Um, I do have a birthmark on the back of my neck. You can't see it obviously because I'm facing you. Uh, I'll show you, I don't know, someday I'll just take a picture so I have the easiest way. Or by the way, we're six of ten encrusted tail fins, and it's been a hundred percent drop rate. So that's cool. Um, pretty psyched about that. Let's pull this mob now. Um, I just popped the wrong shock on this guy. That's okay. Storm strike did its thing anyway. Did a little extra damage. Um, so. I have a birthmark, it's probably about one and a half inches wide, but like three inches tall. And it's like center of my neck, um, kind of going up to like, not the center of the back of my head, but like up a little bit. Mostly it starts like the, the nape of my neck is what I guess I'd call it. I want to burn this guy quickly. All right. Fish oil. More water walking. It's one of my favorites. Uh, let's use the good bandages because we actually have a lot of health to pull back on this one. And it's kind of a light red color. It almost looks like, um, like, I don't know if you just sort of get like, 
a little bit of like you like rub like your skin real fast or something like this, and it gets a little bit red on the surface. Like nothing serious, but just like a, like a little little bit of color to it. That's what it kind of looks like. Um, I don't really like. It. I don't. I wish it wasn't there, but not so much that it matters. It's just, it's pretty negligible, honestly. So I'm kind of fortunate. I don't have any weird, super weird skin things going on. I've got like I think a little red mole here, and maybe one here. But they're not, again, it's like, it's one of those things you can live with in life. <laughs> like, I have bigger fish to fry than worrying about a little tiny mole or whatever. Oh, fatigue water, that's great. I'm not, like, putting mobs right in fatigue water. Yeah, this little black line is fatigue water. It's kind of a weird spot, in my opinion, that that's a thing there. But it is what it is. Alright, so we've got three more to kill. Kill this one, and then I might... Pull this one too. It's a 35 war. It's pretty low level relative to a lot of these. Um, this guy's hitting us a bit harder than some of the other ones have. I don't think we're killing him as quickly, maybe. Unending breath is gone. It's sad. Oh boy, it's bad. Alright. Heal up. We should be fine. Just, it's just a 35 warrior. It shouldn't be in the world for us. I'm gonna get water breathing up before I die. I'd be really sad if I end up just forgetting to cast the water breathing on myself because it ran out and then I just literally die from that. That would be a bummer. Um, let's do another heal. Just like top off our health and we can focus on just burning down whatever mana we have left on this guy. Um, flame shock. We got another fish oil from that last one, so great. I'm really loving getting these reagents. I and mean, they're not that expensive on the auction house anyway. Oh man, that guy ran the wrong way for sure. Try and slow him down. At least they, they turn an attack pretty fast, you know? Like all things considered. Can I drink here? I don't think you can. I don't think you can ever drink underwater. Yeah, it's annoying. We're out of mana. Um Trying to find a good mob to kill that I can solo pull. Maybe just this oracle be okay. I think this is fine. I don't know if line of sight works here, but we'll see. Okay, that's fine. I was seeing if I could pull him around this block, but he came up close enough anyway, so we're all good. Let's just kill this one. We're a little, we're very low on mana. In fact, you know what? What, what else? So I got these lesser mana potions for it than to use them. Oh, I should have saved that. I need to shock him when he tries to heal himself. Actually, that's a grenade are far. Four. Far. Four. Look at that interrupt skill. So good at this game. Another earth shock interrupt. Alright, let's kill this guy quickly. Okay, good. Got him. Alright, all done here. Let's do this. Let's call it a day at this point. We're going to go to Orgrimmar because I want to turn in the Encrusted Tail Fins and Shimmering Flat. So next episode, I'll fly down there and we'll start down there. We'll take care of it. Then we'll travel to Arathi to get our bandage skill ups. And then we can move to back here and turn in the tablet quest. Is our buddy here? No, not here. Sad. We'll get him next time. All right. I think that's it for today. Um, you know what? Hope you guys get used to the new look. Um, nothing's really changing. Still the same person, just less hair. I uh, can't decide if I like these glasses. I think I do. I think I really like them. But I can't decide if I want to permanently use them or if I ever want to use my other ones. I kept my other ones. I just keep like one, like my most recent pair. I get like a new pair of glasses. I keep my old pair as a backup. Uh, my prescription changed recently slightly. It got slightly better, according to the doctor. So I was like, well, I'll just get these then. Um, so I got a new prescription. I have, like, relatively good eyes for someone that wears glasses. It's like a like a 1.75, 1.5, and a 2 is the correction. Like a negative 1.5, a negative 2, or something, which is relatively good vision for someone, I think. Um, it's been right between, like, 1 and 2 since I was a teenager, basically. So, not too bad. Let's repair. Anyway, that's all for today. 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.